Hello everybody, M Squared here with you again. Uh, and as you can see, I have a full complement of Italian fighters in my lineup. Uh, this is something that I wanted to try. I, I had revisited these planes to max them out quite a while ago, but hadn't flown them much in the meantime. Um, the planes themselves, I had been watching a show about uh, how they were deployed and Italian fighters sort of being superior and especially used in the uh, North African theaters there, uh, that they were very good fighters. They were good at turning. They were fast as hell, uh, but kind of like most Italian engineering, you know, Ferrari, Lamborghini, uh, Maserati, th these are finely tuned aircraft. These are uh, high performance aircraft that are really good, but they were fighting in North Africa. And apparently when you get a little bit of grit in the gears, they don't hold up so well. So they weren't uh, as successful as they probably would have been in another theater. Uh, I think one thing that you can say about these Italian fighters is that they definitely have the ugliest camos in the game. I mean, look at them, seriously. So this one uh, has got the added lightning bolts. I did that myself. I was just so glad to be done with some of the German biplanes when I was grinding this thing up. And I was new to the game. Oh, I can put some decals on my plane. I'll put some lightning bolts because that'll make it faster. Yeah, well, it turned out to make it even uglier. So I just kind of keep it that way. Um, anyways, you might be wondering why I'm flying these Italian planes. Uh, you'll see that all of them have the same battle rating of 1.7. And uh, they all have the same armament of two 50 caliber machine guns. I believe they are nose mounted, wing mounted. So convergence can be an issue, though they're pretty close together. It looks like they are time to fire through the prop. They're sort of right at the base of the, uh, of the wings there. But these all have two 50 caliber guns. They all shoot the same burst mass of 0.78 kilograms per second except for the MC-202, which adds a couple of 7.7 millimeter machine guns as well. And those are, mm, your guess is as good as mine, where those are mounted. Anyways, uh, one thing that I did find, because I flew this MC-202 a little bit, well, quite a bit in the last week or so, is that it does have another camo that you can put on it. I guess these were also used on the Eastern Front uh, kind of like, uh, I don't know if they were bought or given to the German regime for use on the Eastern Front, but that looks like a proper fighter plane right there. That's, that's a decent camo, so I'm going to keep it on that one. Anyways, you might be wondering why I'm flying these planes. I know a lot of people are frustrated with them, um, and I indeed, I was so glad to have these planes when I first bought them, and then I was so let down by them because I just kept getting spanked over and over and over. It's not that these planes don't fly well in War of Thunder. In fact, at its tiering at 1.7, you're going to find that you can outdive and outrun pretty much anything at its battle rating. Uh, the problem with it are the guns. Now, there's two 50 calibers on most of these models, and the added 7.7s on the MC202. But the machine guns, I don't know if they're just hard to get used to or if they're just, they're just kind of anemic, really. Uh, they don't do a whole lot of damage. You gotta stay on target. You gotta chase people around quite a bit. You're probably going to get a lot of assists in these planes. But the reason why I was flying these is because I was looking at some of these medals. I have most of the medals in the game. So I had this one for uh, winning 50 missions with Italian planes. Got that a long time ago. Defeated 50 players. This was the one I was missing. You see, it requires that you defeat 300 players in Italian fighters. And not paying attention to this medal, I had about 95 kills in it. And so I was like, oh man, I gotta get 205 more to get this medal. All right, let's see how we do. So I loaded up with Italian planes. I finally did get the medal, as you can see. It took me a little while, but it got me thinking about, you know, I've got all the Japanese medals, for Britain, there is one that I still need, and that is because it's location dependent. And until recently, before they had an arcade map that gave you credit for Ruhr battles, um, I think they, what do they call it, Eastern, uh, West Germany, or so, one of, the, one of the newer maps. So I've won a couple of missions on that. 
uh, but before that was down to that was zero. So now I'll probably be on the on the path to earning that medal as well. Uh, USA also has a RUR dependent one, and it really is just kind of a luck of the draw which map you get, whether you're going to be able to earn towards these medals. Now, you'll notice if you look at the reward down underneath, that was especially disappointing because I didn't, I didn't look at the reward before I started pursuing this medal. The reward is 100 convertible XP. That is a serious joke. I mean, Gaijin really needs to address that because shooting down 300 planes in Italian fighters is not exactly a cakewalk. I have 15 point something million convertible XP. They want to give you 100. You have to then you know, pay Golden Eagles to convert that XP into something useful. I think they need to acknowledge a, a, something a little sweeter, a little bit better reward for that would be great. So Gaijin, if you're listening, Yes, that would be nice. So USA has its own rear dependent, uh, location dependent medal here that I haven't quite earned yet. Uh, USSR, I've got all those done. And Germany, I'm missing one. Now, if somebody could please explain to me in the comments, they have this one called Wound Badge, and apparently I'm 23 out of 50 on the way to get it. And it says battles against other players. It says you must have a damaged aircraft. That's the condition for the medal. Well, I've had many damaged aircrafts, in fact, so I'm not exactly sure what the conditions are to earn this. Apparently, since I've been playing War Thunder a year and a year and change, I've done 23 things out of 50 that qualify towards this. So somebody please explain that to me. Uh, anyways, I did end up getting the medal. I found a new appreciation for these planes. They are a lot of fun um, if you know how to fly them. And, uh, you know, maybe you're not going to get 10 kills in a game, but you're certainly going to do pretty well if you're aware of your situation and you fly the, the plane to its strengths. So uh, I'm going to see if we can get us into a match and we'll take out the MC-202 and see what happens. So I'll uh, start the video again when we spawn in. All right, here we go into a match. Uh, Berlin suburbs and... We'll see what we can do in this MC202 Fulgore. I don't, I don't speak Italian. I'm not exactly sure. Now I'm using the stealth ammo on here. I don't know that that is necessarily the best choice, but I definitely like the advantages that stealth gives me, especially when flying against lower tier aircraft. So um, we'll see how that works. I'm going to start the game by climbing, as I do at this tier. This plane is a pretty good climber. So we'll make use of that. And besides that, I like to start most of my matches climbing, whether I'm in an energy fighter or a turn fighter or really doesn't matter. I want to start with some altitude. And that's not because it's always part of my, my um, maneuver tactics, but mainly because it gives you one very distinct advantage over the others, and that is that you get to decide what to engage and what not to engage. When you're flying low, they're choosing you, and whether you want to fight or not, you're going to get a fight coming to you. So altitude gives me the option of choosing that, and that's why I usually like to try and get up high. This uh, BF-109 looks like he's doing the same thing. I'm assuming that's a BF-109E. Let's see if I can find him on here. Yeah. Or did that say F-1? can't tell there's a smudge on my monitor right there anyway it's probably not going to get into hunting any bombers in this game um, all right so now we have our choice of what to engage and what not to engage I think this zero over here who's kind of off on his lonesome I think he'll probably be well this f2a no he's turning in I'm going to dive on him, add a little wet to increase my speed, and hopefully I can put enough shots into him on the way down. It's not a very big firing window you have here for connecting your shots, but I light him on fire, and now I can just extend away. Now, looks like nobody else around me, but I want to gain that altitude back so I can gain that advantage back. Okay, who's next? I 
want to be conscious of that F2A that's up there. Um, completely absurd. He's in an F2A1 buffalo. That's not too bad. Did he just get shot down? No, there he is. I think I will try and protect my HE111 comrade over there. So we'll engage with this F2A. I don't think his armament is particularly superior to mine. We're probably entering on a on an even keel here. I don't know why that HE-111 dove away, though. If he wanted to get some base bombing done, he would have stayed up high. I'm not sure if he's trying to energy trap me, but see how fast I'm gaining on him even as I'm climbing? This plane is just fast for its tier. I might even catch him unawares here. Let's see if we can light him on fire as well. Alright. Sparks critical hit. Didn't tell me what it critted though. Can we turn with him? He's pretty agile. I think he's turning inside of me. But I think I can kill him in energy. We'll go up. See if he'll... Yeah, he's trying to get some shots. I'm almost out of range. Wait for him to stall out. We'll come back up. And he's probably... Yeah, he's completely out of energy. And he recognized my maneuver, and now he's trying to dive away. Waited too long to come back around on him, but... Better safe than sorry, I suppose. So, I'm king of the hill up here now. Got a JU-87 we can go for. He's going to put his guns on me, but... I thought he was actually going to shoot at me, not just dive in front of me, so... Kind of screwed up that approach. Gotcha. Took a little bit of fire from his tail gunner there, but he doesn't have a huge armament back there. This isn't a particularly durable plane when you're going up against decent guns. Um, but again, for its tier, it's pretty good. Most of these guns don't really have that, most of these planes don't really have that high of a lead output in their nose, so. Still a good advantage now. I'm just looking for what I want to engage here. There seems to be a little fur ball down there. There's a KI-10 way up here. And I'm the king of this mountain, so get wrecked. Now, he can turn on a dime. Oh, he's chasing my bomber. Come on, I'm coming. Don't go, don't go. All right, we've got some shots into him. I don't think he's turning. Nope, he didn't do the smart thing. Fireball. You see a pattern developing here? There we go. You're more likely to set the plane on fire than you are to take them apart. So, that's okay. As long as they die and I get the kill, it's all good. So, what else? P-36 looks like he's up. Well, I'm going to go to the back of the train here. And this KI-10, hopefully I can set him on fire pretty easily. I think he sees me coming. Hey, no, no, no. I got a crit. Oh, and a fire. Very good. The controls are locking up a little bit here, so I don't have much maneuverability. I'm going to use that speed that I gained in the dive to extend, climb back up a little bit, and then we'll loop around for another pass.
OS2U looks juicy. We'll give that a roll. Critical hits. Looks like I picked up, did I pick up a tail? No matter, we're out of range already. Get a reload in while we can. Nothing's worse than going for one of these swooping dives and not realizing you've only got 17 machine gun rounds left. Alright, he's picking on my friend, so I'm going to get down in there. Come on, pea shooter. Stay with it. Stay with it. I'm on my way. Stop turning. I can't turn like that. Very good. Straighten him out. Let me put some shots into him. All right, hopefully I made it harder for him to follow. Him, all right, dump our speed, come back down on him. Do a little high yo-yo, come back down on him again. is just off here, I guess. Oh, wasn't able to get the kill. Did get Terror of the Sky. Is there anything else that I got? Well, let's look at the reward screen. Five kills. No deaths. Let's see. Bomber Rescuer, I guess, for saving that HE-111. Win streak times three. Survivor Award and Terror of the Sky. Five kills, no death, top of the team. Um, say what you want about the Italian planes. They're actually pretty decent if you practice a little bit flying them. Um, they have a lot of advantages, so don't dismiss them. Embrace them. In fact, if you've already gone way past this on the tech tree, maybe after you've gotten your X2 done for the day, go back and fly some of these around. I think you'll find it fun. Um, I'm, especially, I'm much better at flying this plane. Uh, or let's say these Italian planes because they all have very similar flight characteristics. I'm a lot better at it than I was when I was flying these planes for the first time. So have fun with it, and I'll see you at the next video that I upload.